Well, good evening, good morning, whichever part of the world you're in. I just got to uh, going to do a water line install way down there. It's about, it's like right at 700 feet from where the water ties into the front of the house to where I have to tie it into the uh, supply line. <clears throat> And of course, I got the 306. Uh, I'm gonna take the 36 inch bucket off and put the 24 on. And if I start doing this more, I'll get me a uh, 12 inch bucket. Uh, of course, this is the first one I've done of this for like this type anyway, or not for myself, but. I've got to tie it tied in over here to what's supplying this hydrant. Oh, they've got a shut off right there. And I don't know. I was going to try to come in front of it, in front of the shut off, but I don't know if I'll have enough room. I need to get all this exposed and uh, see what that's looking like. It's, it's like I said, it's right at 700 feet. Uh, well, from what I walked off anyway. <clears throat> and then I gotta, I gotta run on my hose or a line around the house and do a, uh, a water faucet like that one. But this is the line I got. I got a 300 foot roll and a eight or a 500 foot roll. So let me get this thing unloaded and bucket swapped out and i meant to bring me some paint but i forgot and what i may do is because i'd hate to i know i'm not going to have a fitting to tie in there yet because i'm not sure how that is and i wanted to get that exposed and then figure out which fitting or how to tie into it what i may do start down there at the house and work this way because I don't want to mess up the road in case somebody needs in and out I want to I want to get this done all at once up in here and that way I'm not holding anybody up because obviously they they've got equipment sitting around here and uh, probably need in and out so. all right so I lied I'm gonna come over here first and uh, expose this real quick I ain't got a clue with that. I guess that's a septic. I ain't got a clue where that's even going. I hope it's going out through yonder somewhere. But I'm gonna dig right in here and see. Uh, that is shut off. I'm gonna dig right here real quick and see what I can find. And then I'll see what I need there first. Cause I know what I'll do. I'll get to digging down there by the house and run out of daylight and there I'll be.
pass by hand to see i don't know where the uh even the main water line's coming in at. i'm assuming it's coming straight down that building but who knows let me get the digging by hand all right so what i got here got it uncovered is i don't have enough room on the left side of that ball valve to tie into it so i'll just have to get a separate uh, valve and put it in line going out to the uh, house and I believe that's three quarter inch line so I'll have to run to town tonight uh, and grab the fittings to tie there into the hose and hopefully I can find some so let's track down to the house all right so I made it down here at the house I just kind of put my bucket on the ground and uh, just walked straight here and you can kind of see that to give me a line to follow and the water just ties just ties in right there but now I don't know what these lines are I don't know who came down here I don't know if this is for the septic or or what I will have to uh, call somebody, but then again, that's, I'm not sure. I don't know if they just did this for their driveway or, I'm going to call the uh, owners real quick and I can't, if they don't know, then I'll call the, uh, the uh, people who sold them the home and see if they know, so. Let me figure this out. Okay, so I talked to the homeowners, and what that is, that's just their reference for the, the gravel, uh, which I'm sure it'll be washed away by the time they get ready for that. But, all right, let me crank up here, and let's uh, get to digging. Clays, all it is. 
dug all the way to the road, which I should. It's about one o'clock now. I should get there in plenty of time. And then I don't know if there's a if there's a part of store close by here. I'm kind of about 45 minutes away from my house. And about halfway there to where I want to get today it's going pretty good <clears throat> uh, it don't look that deep I guess when you're sitting in the machine well, when you get get off and actually get up next to it it's it's a little deeper than actually I was planning on going but that's all right I guess it, it won't hurt to be a little deeper through this field too because I'm sure they'll have tractors out here cutting hay and stuff so it's going good and i can just see the groundwater like i can it's like i'm hitting little underground puddles it's crazy and you can see that's just gray clay i mean that is some sticky stuff which just kind of help dry it out too and that'll help once i roll it back in there to kind of break it up <clears throat> so anyway let me keep trucking okay so i dug as far as i could well as far as i needed to today and what i've got to do i figured out that that water supply going over there is on well water and the well is across the road and up the hill over here so i've got to jump the fence yeah. and the people who uh, have the well they live in that house and I just went and talked to them uh, that gentleman is he's not in the best health so I told him I'd come over here and see what was going on trying to figure it out and, uh, let me get up on the hill over here and I can maybe see where the excavator. I don't know if you can see it sitting, but <clears throat> anyway, I I made pretty good time today. I feel like anyway. Oh, just digging in pure clay. And they said this is an old steel line. But I don't know. There, this well was probably put in over 50 years ago. <clears throat> but it supplies, I don't know what all it supplies, but I know it supplies that house and then where I've got to turn it off at. So let me get up here and see what's going on. Let's check out this old silo. Things on up there. You don't see them that old hardly anymore. Look at this concrete. There's the auger. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> no telling how old that thing is. I'm surprised it ain't been tore down. Y'all, there is no telling what I'm about to run into. Oh Lord, look at all them wasps. Uh. I 
Huh. I don't know. I'm gonna have to get in there and look around. Let me deal with these wasps. Hey Sam, come get your buddies. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure where to shut it off. I'm gonna have to ask somebody who knows and that way I ain't digging around and messing nothing up. So let me figure it out. All right, y'all, so I'm back the next day. I come out here, back over here yesterday evening and tried to dig around in here. I brought my shovel with me this time. I'm gonna try to dig right there and then right here down by that pipe and just see because I still just have no idea. And I'm thinking this end is where the pump pumps into the tank. And if it works like anything else, I believe it's just pressurize that with air pump it in there and then it gives you your basically your pressure on your <clears throat> water line so let me uh dig down right here and see what i can figure out okay i've been digging right in here and that's the ball valve right there i believe so i'm going to uh It's a tight, tight space. I'm going to <clears throat> like I said, I'm way over there behind that building. Probably 200, 300 yards at least. I'm going to run up on top of the hill and let the uh, the other people know that I'm going to have to shut it off soon. So, I'm going to go back over there and get pre get prepped with all my feeding and stuff. So, that way they don't have to be without water, but for very, or not for a long time anyway. So, let me track back across the field here. All right. So, this is what I got. <clears throat> I got a one-inch shut-off ball valve, uh, three-quarter three quarter here to, to tee into the line stepped it up to one inch and then i got the shark bike uh fitting there that i'll plug the uh the blue hose around there into so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have to run back up on top of the hill uh, let the other folks know i'm about to shut the water off make sure that's okay run back on the hill turn that valve and come back down here and make sure that that's it uh, I'm sure this line's probably going to take a minute to uh, to bleed out because it's all running downhill, I believe. So I don't know if it'll, if it'll flush itself out or, or what. But, so let me uh, do some running around here. And then I did buy these little crimpers right here. kind of keeps it square cut instead of having a hack on it with a, uh, a uh, sawzall. So... Here we go. Okay, I believe I got the, the uh, water shut off. She ain't hardly got no pressure coming out, so. I should be good now. Let's set y'all up right here. All right, I'm cut into my main line now. <clears throat> I should have a cut. Cut just a little section out here. <clears throat> I 
I should have enough play. I should have enough play in this pipe beside me here to uh, get the new section worked in there. been done by now but she's steadily pouring out which I figured it was going to for a little bit I really need that to not do that for sure Not a big fan of the uh, rain or shine stuff. Not for uh, anything that's got or could potentially have a good bit of pressure on it anyway. If it don't have that much pressure, it's okay. She's coming out that end now, so I'm gonna let that sit for about 20 minutes or so. Let that set up real good before I put uh, pressure on it. And, uh, it should be good, maybe. All right, so I had to, uh, I closed the valves and see if it was gonna hold just on what little pressure it's got right now in it. I didn't really like I didn't think I had enough meat in that T on this side, so I went ahead and dug the hydrant up. That way I could just shove it, make sure I was bottomed out. So uh, now I got the valves, that one off, and uh, holding pressure. Well, I'm gonna make sure I got the air out. So uh, I'm gonna sit here and watch it a minute, just on what pressure it has now. Make sure everything's okay, and then I'll go up to the back up to the pump and turn that back on and while I was sitting here waiting I kind of rolled me out some hose <clears throat> let that kind of be settling down this stuff's hard aggravating to roll out by yourself I need the dirt perfect uh, spinning Jenny set up I'm gonna keep doing this uh, so yeah let me uh watch this a minute and uh and I'll go turn the pressure back on. Okay, so far so good. I got the pump back on. And we got good pressure down here now. I open that up make sure, you know, I even had it the right one to begin with. Uh, so we should be good to go. I think what I may do. No, I'm not. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to finish tying my trench in. I forgot to show y'all what I even did yesterday. The owner showed up and we got to talking. and I got to running back and forth trying to figure out where the well house was. So <laughs> I 
you can see my trench down through there I can see water in it in some places so I was expecting that but that'd be all right so it kind of curves right here and then it goes straight on to the house so what I'm gonna do now is just tie this right on into there and then I'll throw my blue pipe in there and get it ran down to the house so I hope there is nothing buried up through here they said nothing was but you never know okay I finally got the, the ditches connected Whew. this one here took a minute I think uh, when I connect my line up here I'm gonna grab some of this looser dirt in my bucket and bring it up here and I'm gonna backfill around in here because this up here is just really wet and uh, sticky clay and it's just clumpy and it weighs it is so hard to manage with that shovel so we're still not leaking so that's good so we should be should be good to go I'm gonna take my hose here and make sure it's square on the end shove up in my pipe there and uh start running this blue pipe in the ditch here okay i got the first 300 feet uh, laid off in here you talking about a time unrolling that stuff i did good about halfway and then my my roll come unwound and it was about like a uh, slinky that uh, got got all tangled up. So <clears throat> I apologize if, it, if it's windy. The wind's blowing pretty good today. But all I'm gonna do is just keep laying this in the ditch. And what I may do is fill it up with water. That way it's got some weight to it. Maybe it'll lay on down. And I can pull it tight. Like that. And I have a different style of fittings to uh, tie the two hoses together. And they was not cheap. That's for sure. I had nearly as much money in fittings as I as I did in hose. Actually, probably more. It's a little ridiculous what what these stupid fittings cost. Ah. So let me stretch this on out, and then I'm gonna go up there and turn the water on for about. 10 15 seconds to let this thing get some weight to it because it's just going to keep doing that and, and piss me off all right so what i've got here to connect the two lines together is this is brass fitting here and then i've got another brass t to t out of here to go to the water hydrant that's going to be on the back side of the house and then this tie into the actual house itself so what I'm gonna do oh, need my screwdriver so I'm gonna go ahead and splice it here together stretch it on out and then run that all the way down and then I'll track all my stuff down there and uh, uh, connect it to the house Okay, so I finally made it down to the house. Let me set my stuff down here. I've got my hands full. And this, basically gonna connect to there and then tie to here. They have this on here, but uh, you know what? That ain't gonna work. Cause that is not three quarter. really know what that is <clears throat> great 
just great got the uh place where i got my uh popping fittings said just to cut that end off and glue that on there but that's about three quarter so anyway i'll have to uh get a different fitting now so i don't have the fitting to hook to the house what i'm gonna go ahead and do it's about dark uh, i'm gonna go ahead and dig my trench around side of the house here to the back for the uh for the water line around there i'll have to move these steps right here and i'm just going to i'm going to go right beside the house there and, uh, yeah so let me dig this trench
Well, y'all, it's the next morning, and I'm back down here, and it it rained last night. And when I say it rained, uh, it rained. I thought I was gonna get a little bit ahead and go ahead and dig my trench around through here, and I can see now that that was a terrible idea. It just filled up everything. <sighs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in the excavator and just cut that out and let the water drain out of the ditch. That's all I can do right now. When it rains, it pours. All right, so I just finally got everything connected to turn the water on up there. Hurry up and come down here. I left this one open. Let me shut it off and go around here and check my fittings now. Ah, gosh, it's so muddy. I'm gonna go buy me a pair of rubber boots. As long as we ain't got no leaks, I think we'll be all right. I don't have a whole lot of pressure. Didn't look like. I'm not seeing any leaks there. Leaks there, and I have the water shut off inside the house, so uh, I'll check it last. Let me walk up here where this other fitting is and check it. All right, and there's my other connection. I don't see no water uh, coming out, so I think we're good. I swapped out my buckets too with the 36 inch on, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna check inside the house, make sure everything's good there. And then I will uh, start back filling this trench and this one's gonna be a wrap, hopefully. All right, so what I'm, what I'm doing now, is I'm just gonna come down through here and just, just drag this over in a ditch. drive over it today because it's so wet and all this water is still in the still in the ditch I'm gonna let it settle for a few days because I'll be back I'll be back either tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday y'all i got her back filled all the way up to the uh shutoff valve it actually turned out better than i was expecting because it is still just a sloppy mess down here i'm gonna let that sit uh, until a few days it's not supposed to get that cold and, uh, once that kind of dries out i'll wrap that pipe in the insulation and knock that out and then finish setting that uh hydrant in the back but i'm gonna go inside the house now got my steps pulled back up there i'm gonna go in and uh check everything in there 
so that's gonna be a wrap on this one 306 is a mess man so anyway y'all let me know what you think uh took way longer than i thought it was going to but it's a learning experience more or less on this one uh, they usually don't they're usually not near this long i think they said they usually do them about 300 feet is the max and then anything over that but this actually went pretty good i guess considering i just i just screwed up several times just not not paying attention getting in a hurry running off and leaving fittings and stuff like that and not making sure i had all the fittings and uh and then the whale house fiasco uh, this was just kind of a unique project but anyway i got her did and uh next i will start on the power i'm not gonna video it because i don't want somebody getting hurt or killed because they saw me do it and not really knowing what they're doing you don't want to mess with electricity unless you're really comfortable with it uh, and everywhere is different so my regulations may not be the same as wherever you're at but i'm gonna set the power pole here and then go under the house and run a pin tie into the breaker box so that's a wrap on this one i appreciate y'all watching y'all leave, leave me a comment and please subscribe if you haven't